In this video, we are going to take a quick look at a feature in the UV workspace called Unify UV. It allows the user to consolidate multiple UV maps into one. This is a good use case where this model was originally created in the Sculpt workspace and the artist had probably auto retopologized it and also utilize the auto UV process. And then what 3D Coat probably did is create a separate UV map for every single object or layer in the sculpt tree panel. So in this case, what we would want to do to clean this up or optimize our model is to unify the UV. And it's very quick and easy to do. Let's go to the UV workspace and we can see the list of UV sets or UV maps. We are going to combine them all into one by simply going to the command section of the tool panel and we can click unify UV right above the unwrap button. And that's it. It's just that simple. But when we are working in the UV workspace, 3D Coat wants us to click Apply UV Set as a confirmation because the process cannot be undone. So when I click Apply UV Set, these changes are baked in now. Okay. Now we can clean things up, all of these empty UVs that we have. We can delete them by choosing this option, Delete Unused UV Sets. Now, when we go back to the list, we can see we only have one. This tool is also available in the Retopo workspace where you have an identical UV tool set to work with. And the reason why you have a separate UV tool set in a different workspace is so that you can work on your UVs as you are creating your Retopo meshes without having to step out into another workspace each time. So the UV workspace itself is dedicated to working on paint objects. And those are models that are imported directly into the paint workspace. So this is just a prompt saying, hey, you change your UVs. Do you really want to continue? Yes. Okay. We'll go back to the paint workspace and you can see the textures were not altered or messed up like you would find in many applications. So yeah, that's all there is to it. We now have one singular UV map where uh, we can paint in the 2D workspace much more efficiently now than we could before. And uh, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.